Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do is take our ball of clay and turn this into a little pinch pot. Okay, so I'm going back and forth like this, continuing to do so, making sure it's just a nice, perfect square. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my thumb and I wanna take it and I wanna push it right smack into the middle of my clay, like so. Go about halfway through and it should look like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my hand is gonna be doing this kind of motion as I pinch and turn the ball to open the ball of clay. So right here is my hand. I wanna keep that curved shape so I maintain a curved piece or a rounded piece. And I'm pinching and turning the ball of clay. Pinching and turning, pinching and turning, pinching and turning my ball of clay. Pinching and turning, pinching and turning, pinching and turning my ball of clay. So here we go. It's pinching and I'm turning it. Pinch and turn. And I'm just doing this in a rhythmic motion where I'm pinching and turning it. Pinch, turn, pinch, turn. And the reason for this is we want to make, make this consistent, have consistency all the way around it. Okay, so I'm pinching and turning this, pinching and turning this. And as I'm pinching this, I don't want to pinch too much because I want it to be maintained the same thickness. So if I pinch too much in one area, I'm going to thin it out and it's going to be inconsistent with the other areas. So what I'm trying to say, the big objective here is to have this no thicker than your thumb. So this is the thumb right here. You want it to be no thicker. All clay can never, ever, ever, ever be thicker than your thumb. It's called the rule of thumb. So I'm turning and pinching, turning and pinching. And as you can see, I'm starting to open this ball of clay. Looks like this, turn and pinch, turn and pinch, turn, pinch. Everything is in this motion. Now, I've got a nice shape here. I'm liking this. I can take my piece, I tap the sides to make it even in the, all around the top, and I'm gonna check it some more. Make sure it's nice and thin, or nice and thin, not too thick. Okay, I also re I'm really cognizant of the bottom of it, I want to check to see what that looks like. Okay, so remember it can't be thicker than your thumb. If it's too thick, if this clay is too thick, it will break off in the kiln because clay takes a while to dry for one. And when it gets in the kiln and it starts to fire, what happens is that water inside of your clay is going to boil and it's gonna boil and boil, and then it's gonna sheet off. If it's too thick, it will break off. Okay, so here we go, we got this. I'm gonna check it, you don't do this, I check this, okay? So, because I wanna make sure that this is thick enough, and I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes. So I got my clay cutter. So if you were to imagine this cut open, this is about the thickness of what it should look like, just like this, okay? No thicker, okay, and that is how you form a pinch pot.